This is definitely another tutorial. <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming another look for this year's convention. This was supposed to be an affordable look, but the palette that I was going to use is no longer sold online. So, so instead I'm just going to go for a cult favorite, which is the Soft Glam palette. And fortunately, because the shades are pretty much neutral, you can find these shades in majority of your palettes at home, and you should still be able to follow along with the look. For my brows, I'm going to take this product by Kiss, and I don't know how much this retails for, because it was actually given to me, and then it says it has a mirrored cap, so you're supposed to be able to do your eyebrows in the cap, that's cute. Very thoughtful. Really tiny, but most brow brushes aren't huge anyway. The shade that I have is Ebony. Now, I haven't worn brow pomade in ages. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. Even though I have a lot of product in my hand, I'm being super light-handed. This is definitely more pigmented than I anticipated. I'm just going to flick my brush through. Hmm, that turned out pretty nice. Okay, so for cleaning up my eyebrows, as usual, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and my cut crease brush. This is actually my favorite concealer for my brows. Okay, I have to admit that I might actually go a little nuts with this palette. <laughs> I'm going to start with the shade Mulberry, this one right here. I'm going to put it right in my crease and outer corner. And then I'm going to tap it outwards because I really want a nice drawn out shape. Then I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. That's nice. So I'm going to take a totally different brush. I'm going to try the shade right here, Sienna. Just want to see what it'll do, if anything. I'm going to put that right above Mulberry. So for the innermost part of the eye, I'm going to take the shade Orange Soda. And I'm just going to press it in. And I'm also blending it into Mulberry and Sienna. Okay, so I am going to add a little bit of Nior, the black shade right here, to the outer corners of my eye. Because it's like, you know what? Why not? We're going in. And I'm not putting a base underneath this black because I don't want it to be super bold. I just want it to give me a little bit of extra depth in the outer corner of my eye. And I'm blending this into the crease, swiping it sideways so that it goes outwards into that cat shape that I like. And then of course I'm going to take my original blending brush with the side that has the eyeshadow on it and just further blend that into the crease shades. Same sweeping outward motion. Even though this look is a little bit more glam, I'm going to keep it soft by not cutting my crease. So I'm going to take the shade Tempera and I'm gonna put it where all of this open space is on my lid. And I am bringing this up beyond my crease. So even though I'm not cutting my crease, I am still establishing a bigger one than the one that I already have. So I am even blending this into the peach a little bit. Nice and bright. Moving on to eyeliner. Yeah, I don't have a drugstore eyeliner. <laughs> I'm going to take this Kat Von D eyeliner and I'm going to close my eyes. Right here where this line is, 
the fold of my eyes. See how it changes when I open it and I close it? That's where you want to start your winged eyeliner, right here. If you ever have trouble finding a guide, just close your eye and follow that line. Then you can open your eye, you know. I like for my wings to be pretty big. And then lay your brush flat and just drag it across your lid. Then come this way and connect them. Sorry, my eye is jiggling. <laughs> That's how you get a clean line though, you guys. Okay, so I thought I'd show you guys how I clean up the sides of my eyeshadow without having a super harsh line right there. So what I like to do, so take a nice clean brush, and I need to come, can't see. Okay, so I'm gonna go on the sides of my eyeliner And obviously, I'm going to stop at the very end, right? Right, right. Because I don't want to have a harsh line. So go ahead and make that nice and neat. Like that. Then, what you want to do is take you a nice soft brush, pick up a little bit of that concealer, and just fade it out. Just like how I do the rest of my eyeshadow looks, the only difference is, is when you clean it up like this, it just looks so much softer. And you can even pick up more product if you need to, more concealer. It just looks so much softer. And then you can come around the top and the edges. See the difference? Booyah! I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm going to do things a little different today. I'm actually going to apply it first. I posted a, a thread on Twitter about ways to improve your makeup. And something that someone brought up was applying concealer before foundation. I personally have not done this in years, so I really don't remember why I stopped or changed other than the fact that I'm really big on trying new stuff and switching things up. The reason why I let it set is because this concealer is a little bit more creamy. If I let it sit underneath my eyes for a second, it'll get a little bit tacky and provide some more coverage. And I'm pressing this in. And the perk to blending out my eyeshadow with the same concealer, boom! I don't have to worry about, you know, everything not blending together. That is quite the difference. I feel like the only thing with putting your concealer on before your foundation is, is you have to make sure that your foundation really does match. <laughs> unless you plan to go back in with more concealer. So for my foundation, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal 24 Hour Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. This retails for, I want to say $11.99 at Walmart. I'm just going to do one pump on either side of my face. Anyway, as you can see, this foundation is more orange than my face is. It is darker than my face. My body, however, it matches so let's see how this plays out i'm just gonna press this in now what the person on twitter made the claim was doing it this way you use less concealer you use less foundation i personally feel like i'm going to wind up putting more concealer on but we'll see i have to admit i do like the way that it looks it's not so you know angular Okay, so I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm just gonna press the makeup into my skin some more. Setting my actual face. Gonna take this Sasha Buttercup setting powder. 
pressing that in. And like I said in my previous video for the convention, you really do want to make sure that you set your makeup, especially if you are oily or you reside in a climate that is just not makeup friendly. And I do set my jawline. Y'all know this, or you should. <laughs> As far as putting concealer on before foundation, I think this is definitely better for people who want a more natural look. So if you're wearing a darker foundation like me, and not too much darker, but just enough, and you set your jawline, you'll already have this bronze contour situation going on. That'll save you some steps in doing your makeup for the convention. So with that being said, I'm just gonna go right into my blush. This is the Bombshell Blush by Hard Candy. And the reason why I'm putting this on before my finishing powder is because I feel like it just makes the blush look a lot more seamless. And if I accidentally put on too much, which I usually do, it tones it down a bit for me. So my finishing powder is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I really do suck at doing drugstore videos. I only, I feel like I only own essential drugstore makeup, things that work really well for me personally or in my kit. I'm going to take this lip liner in the shade Espresso. This is by NYX. And I'm just going to go underneath my lashes, like right on the lashes, but not actually on my waterline. I'm going to take the shade Sienna again and just tap that right on top of that eyeliner. And as if my eyeballs were not snatched enough, I'm going to take this NYX Faux Black Liner. This is actually a dark blue. They call it Faux Black because they make the colored liners almost so dark that they look black. What I like about this though is blue really does make my eyes pop. Almost any eye color, honestly. And it reflects light so my eyes look nice and shiny. Alright, so moving on to my lashes, I'm going to take these I Envy lashes. They're from the 3D collection and these are in the style 113. Yeah, really, really fluttery, kind of intimidating at first glance. So I'm going to pop these on. I Envy actually does have their own eyelash glue. So if you pick up these lashes, it's likely you're going to see that glue in the drugstore. For my mascara, I'm going to take the NYX On The Rise. Yeah, on the rise mascara. And I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line. And then also on my upper lashes. All right, so moving on to my lipstick. I am going to take the NYX Downtown Beauty Lip Liner. Line my lips with it. Then I'm gonna take this L'Oreal Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Create. That's cute. Okay, so the last thing you want to do is set your makeup with a setting spray or use a beauty spray if you have dry skin and you don't need a setting spray, whatever works for you. I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus. A setting spray that I like from the drugstore is the e.l.f. makeup setting spray. It smells kind of weird, but it's affordable and it works. There's also one by L'Oreal and I think it's like 10 bucks. And this is the final look. <laughs> I hope you guys learned something from this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and share this video with your homies on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to subscribe because it's totally free and it helps me out. I'm trying to climb up the ladder here. And uh, check out the next video. You can subscribe right here and you can watch the next video right here if you want to see more looks. If you have any requests or questions, comment them down below or hit me up on Twitter or Instagram and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>